generally speaking, the pawpaw is blessed to not have a lot of disease or insect pressures. The one thing that I do keep an eye out for in later summer, for our area of the mid-Atlantic, that's late July, early August, I like to get out and I like to observe the leaves to see if there's any webworm uh, little babies in there. So what happens is a female moth will lay up to up to like 45 little baby worms in a pawpaw leaf, usually a mature leaf. And one of the ways to see that is it'll start to close itself up. It'll sort of create its own little shelter in there. And on a, on a healthy, mature pawpaw tree, it, it's really not that big an issue. What will happen if you're not removed is they will hatch and they will begin eating the branch tips and the leaves and work their way down, usually 12, 18 inches uh, down the branches. Now, if it's a young tree, a young sapling, that much damage can retard its growth slowing down its yearly you know growth and then slowing its production down um, you know by just slowing down its photosynthesis basically so on my young trees especially i like to get out and look and when i find them i either take out the part where they are and i smush it and throw it or i'll take off the whole leaf uh, if i get them in an early stage uh, I, I really have little to no impact on my trees now, also, we have the, the, the leaves are getting eaten by the zebra swallowtail, which is an absolutely gorgeous uh, butterfly, well worth the leaves it eats. And the pawpaw is the sole host for the zebra swallowtail butterfly. So a lot of times you'll see the leaves are eaten out, uh, you're missing chunks. And that is the sign that the, uh, the zebra swallowtail is in your own neighborhood uh, which is a great thing. They're majestical to watch and see. Again, their impact uh, does not, does not uh, really have a strong negative effect on our trees, which are naturally healthy and robust. I think the thing to keep an eye out for is if you have very young, very small saplings, uh, like in our nursery, I'll keep an eye out and I'll still let them eat a little bit of the leaves, but if it starts to take too much leaf cover from a small plant, uh, I will, you know, give them a hike. So basically that's it. Otherwise, I don't really do any monitoring of my trees uh, for issues because they're healthy. Now, one of the keys to avoiding a lot of insect and disease problems with anything that you plant is making sure it's got the ideal healthy conditions. For me, that's lots of mulch, that's lots of companion plants, that's passively harvesting water into the landscape. It's like having all the needs of the tree really well met avoids you know, many potential insect and disease problems. So design is key.